One, two, check. That's a bit better. Hello. Well, here we go. Ooh. Back from the break. Change the patch up now. But that is a Chinese air hu violin patch. Very sad sound sort of thing. Um, very evoking of, you know, sort of ethereal moods and all that sort of business. Now, I'm going to change things up a little bit here. And um, where should I go from here? Um, one of the things about patches and the like is that I can, I can go fairly out there with um, what I'm doing. But then again, I can actually... Uh, use my patches for something a lot more straightforward like just a good old piano and this is where sometimes I can get a little bit um, uh, different Oh, actually, no, no, I shouldn't have said different. I should have said uh, something like more, uh, well, let's do a blues is what I'm getting at. So if I go to there. That's a bit different. Just pause whisper, if I can, if I may. Is it going to let me? Hopefully. Maybe not. Come on. That's better. And uh, what I'm going to do now is adjust my microphone a little bit. How's that? Check, 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 check. By jingos. Okay, so what I've got here is... Check one, two. I've got a bit of intermittency Left. here. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm a private eye. I'm so tough. I wear my clothes out from the inside. I was in my New York style Labadon South office when the phone rang and scared me half out of my secretary.
then my first case came in and I polished off two bottles. She asked me in for a root beer. The root was nice, but the beer was flat. <laughs> I love that joke. I better start wrapping it up. I'm running out of tape again. I don't know what happened with this episode. I started out with doing all this ethereal Chinese air who violin business and all this other stuff. And I ended up doing private dick jokes, meaning detective, okay? Not being overly rude, just a little risque, okay? She gave me a burning kiss. She took a cigarette out and kissed me again. She had the most beautiful hair on her head too. She had the most beautiful eyes. In fact, one eye was so beautiful the other one couldn't stop looking at it. I got a minute left on the tape. How many jokes? How many more jokes can I whip in? I better not. My name is Chris Quinlan. <laughs> I've lost the plot on this episode. Anyway, um, yes, it's the Drum Show uh, by any other name. It used to be Melbourne Musos a long time ago, and um, yeah, 20 years in, still going. I don't know why. Uh, yes, I hope you enjoyed the show. I hope you got something out of whatever it was that I tried to teach tonight. And I'll see you all next week, okay? <laughs>